Yo, 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 good people, it's your homie Herb, man. Busting you back upside the head with another hot banger boogie. People ask me all the time, yo, Herb, man, how much sun should we really get? Your sun diet is going to be conducive to your vitality, conducive to your life force, conducive to your energy, okay? And all of us is living off of energy, okay? And we need that energy from our plants and from our animal foods, right? So uh, all of that stuff, when you put it into your body, your mitochondria is going to process the oxygen and it's going to convert whatever food and drink that you're eating into energy. And you can't do that without the sun, right? The animals need the sun, the plants need the sun. So therefore you are regurgitating or you are secondhand getting what they are getting in order for you to live. So this is how important the sun is to your livelihood, okay? Now, there are certain times of the day that you can get some really good sun, all right? And so from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. is a very good two-hour slot for you to get that sun and try to be out there those whole two hours if you possibly can. Now, when it's summertime from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. is a next good two-hour slot for you to be able to get enough sunlight, all right? If it's fall and winter, then it's gonna be from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. is a very good time slot for you to get that sunlight, okay? And you're gonna need a lot of it and enough of it in order for you to really start to increase your vitality. And the sun is not only good just for when it comes to food and all that type of stuff, but now the sun is actually good also for your hormones, okay? It's good for your serotonin, it's good for your depression, it's good for your focus. All this type of stuff, sun is good for. It's also good for vitamin D, but you already know that. It's good for boost, boosting your immune system. It's good for healing the pain. It's good for certain kind of cancers, especially the ones that are, that are basically conducive to our reproductive system because we keep those private areas covered up all the time. So put some sun on your breast. Put some sun on your prostate, put some sun on your stomach and make sure that uh, you're getting sun in the stomach, right? Because that's going to be good for colon issues, right? Because we hide these areas with our clothing. So the less that, the, you know, those particular parts of the body see sun, the more the, these things can start to be a problem for us. So you want to make sure you're able to get ex sun exposure in every area of your body, okay? All right, but you want to make sure you get the best sun and the clean sun and not the harmful sun. And so that's why you want to stay within those time frames that we discussed. Now, when it comes to the food, you want to make sure that you're getting foods that have good full sun exposure. OK, so these are what we call the sun foods. All right. So you can just Google on your own time and energy and start looking at foods that require full sunlight. Right. Require at least six to eight, eight to 10 to 12 hours worth of sun. All right. And that is going to be the food that you really want to be able to eat because those are your high energy foods. Right. Those are your high energy fruits and vegetables that you can put into your body knowing that they have a high sense of sun. So they're going to give off a high sense of energy as well. Your mitochondria needs energy. OK, it needs energy because you need energy in order to be able to live. And the mitochondria, it handles at least about 90 percent of your body's energy energy okay so when the mitochondria is doing this thing with processing your oxygen and converting your food and stuff into energy then you want to be able to get also it from the best energy source on planet earth and that is the sun man so remember guys get as much sunlight as you possibly can otherwise you will be doing your body an injustice and you need that vitality you need that energy you need that mood to be homeostatic. You need to be able to be happy and healthy and whole. And one good way we can do that is increase our sun diet. I love you guys. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Go tell somebody to go tell somebody about your homie herb man. And until next time, love herb man. Yes, sir.